fly in a Oxford. Tell me how's a rapper act quiet and awkward. How's he got a buzz? Guys, this is how I'm looking. This is Monday morning. <clears throat> Flat, empty. Just went to the bathroom. Took a nice little dump. I, I swear I cannot go to the bathroom without a squatty pot anymore. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are on the fence about it, I'm telling you, it's worth the money. And you're not gonna wanna shit without it. This is after Sushi Saturday, so I did refeed on Saturday, and I had a, a good amount of carbs, probably another 200 carbs afterwards. I had cereal, I had ice cream, some, some good stuff. I'm like nice and full. I'll be full for the next couple days. Um, and my workout should feel pretty good. I should get a pretty good pump this first half of the week. And that's usually how it goes, guys. When you when you have kind of a, a, a restock on carbs, your, your glycogen is going to go up, and that's going to translate to your, your training, better pumps, better performance. And then as you deplete a little bit more, as you stay on, stay on your macros, assuming that they're on point, your glycogen will deplete again. But that's part of the cutting edge. All right, guys, it's time to weigh in. Yesterday was not, I think I was in the 166s. <clears throat> I was like two pounds up after after sushi. So I should be, my guess is I'm in the like 165s this morning. 164s is my like, my, new, my, my low, my current low. Or not, they can't be right. <laughs> it says 163.8, but I think the kids moved my scale. So let me replace it. I like have like a, a, a setting, a placement where I keep it consistent. My, the the weigh-ins are consistent. 163.8. I definitely didn't see that coming. I don't feel tighter, but I look tighter. It's crazy because after Saturday, I ate a lot more, and Sunday morning, I felt a lot tighter. We went to the pool yesterday, and I was pretty happy with how I was looking. Here's a picture from yesterday. Uh, it, I was pretty tight. That lighting in that bathroom was pretty good, too, though. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like I'm on a good track, and this cut has been going smooth, going easy. And I think I'm enjoying the cardio. I'm going to keep the cardio in. Yeah, my, my just philosophy, my, my outlook on, you know, my physique, cutting, bulking, has just been changing. We'll talk about that later. Guys, it's time to get my morning run in. I'm on week, I believe, seven. Last week, I thought was going to be pretty, pretty rough, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, last week was, I had to run eight minutes, which is a long ass time for me, and walk 90 seconds twice I got that done I did two days of that so this week 10 minute run 90 second walk two times I told myself last week I've never run I've never ran eight eight minutes non-stop in my life even when I was a kid when we were doing the mile I would stop and walk like you know after like six six seven minutes so that was a big accomplishment for me I'm happy 10 minutes, I've never done that. <laughs> and I've never thought that I could because of my endurance and just me getting bored. So we'll see how it goes. And I do track my calories burned for, towards my cardio while I'm doing the run. Usually like 20 minutes will equal to like two, anywhere between 225 and 250. Some days I'll use that as my cardio. Some days if I have time uh, post-workout, then I'll do more cardio on the Stairmaster just because I've been enjoying the cardio. It's stress, stress relieving. <laughs> it's just like that time that I have in myself. Just downtime. All right, I'm ready. Uh, shoes. All right. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I've been running in The Nike Reacts, which is Nike's new, like, signature, their, their, their specialty when it comes to running. The React technology. I like them. They, they are broken in. I really like them. 
it's probably the first pair of shoes that I've actually broken in in a long time because I, I, I collect shoes, I buy a lot of kicks, and I have a good rotation where I don't wear the same shoe too often. So these are broken in just because I run in them two to three times a week and they feel great. No pro runner, but I like them. But then again, I'm a little Team Nike. I'm sure my runners out there will say like, a6 or um, New Balance, stuff like that. But I'm a Nike fan. Big Nike diehard fan. Alright, I also need a hat. I like rocking a dad hat because they're really comfortable. Ah, this one. When I run, because I have some crazy bedhead. And I just roll out of bed and change and go on my run. And I have been running like this, showing off the dad bod around the neighborhood. <laughs> it's really just because I don't want to screw up my tanning. Like I pay for tanning and if I run with a shirt, I'll have some crazy farmer tans, crazy tan lines and it. it's not cool. It defeats the purpose of freaking taking the time and paying for tanning. If you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys tan, you guys know what I'm talking about. You kind of dread it after you train and you just want to go. Oh, if you guys want a little uh, shoe tour, a shoe video, let me know. This is only like, I think half of the shoes that I own. Uh, the rest is in the other room, the guest room, but those are like older kicks that I don't rock. These are like all the ones that I would rock now, like Air Maxes. Vapor Maxes, um, all that stuff, all the newer stuff, and the retro stuff, and the heat stuff. So let me know. Let me know if you guys want a shoe video. Um, I mean, I don't have it set up in my closet where it's like super cool. Like it, it's not on the shelves anymore, like I, I used to, which the the guest room has. But I just transfer these shoes into my closet because we have two closets, his and hers. So these are just my shoes. Yeah, let me know. Because I know some of you guys don't give a fuck about kicks and you're gonna call me materialistic and all that bullshit. Good morning, Riley. So I have been using these bows, uh, the Sound Sport Freeze, and I've been loving them. I was a little, little hesitant to, to use them while running because I wasn't sure how they were gonna stay in my ear. But you just gotta play with them. You have to put them in right and then twist them back a good amount and they lock pretty good. These things, I, I love them. I tried the AirPods and they, they didn't fit my ear. My ear's right and they just, they would fall out just walking. So I wanted them to work, but these bows are sick. I'm like team bows now. I also wanted to show you guys another thing that I'm excited about. And I've been getting a lot of people on Instagram because I posted it on my story. If you guys aren't, post, uh, fo if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, at the online coach, follow me on there. I post a lot of, probably a lot more content, a lot more consistent content on there versus YouTube. Right, so yeah, I posted this on my story and probably over 100 people were asking where I got it what the brand is. I, I scored on it. Um, my boy Chris Elkins posted on his story the, the, the thing. I'm gonna show you in a second. The thing, and I was like, wow, I've been shopping around for one, and the ones that I found were like 1000 to like $2,000. This one was $299. Check out my new setup. It is a new desk, tempered glass, and this is the cool part. It's, it's electric, it's a, adjustable. So here's, this is the bottom. Wait. This is the bottom, where it's perfect for when I'm sitting down. You can also adjust each setting. And then here's the stand-up. And that's, I custom set that up for it to be perfect from when, when, when I'm standing. Boom. So you go from sit down to stand up. And it's like the perfect size. I'm super happy with it. I forgot that the brand's like Tasani something. 
Ah, uh, I threw the box away. And it's not on Costco's site. Because I saw Chris's story, I was like, I wasn't sure if you got it was at Costco because he didn't really say. And then and then I texted him and he told me Costco, but it was only at like specific a specific Costco like away from his home Costco. So I went to my Costco and I had my fingers crossed and I found and there was three of them. And the girl said that they were selling out like crazy and it's like a really good desk. And I also got this chair. And you wouldn't guess how much this chair is. I think I bought the the, the chairs at at the campus office for a couple hundred bucks and that was from Ikea. This right here was 50 bucks. Yeah, I'm amazed with the quality of the desk and the chair. Like, I'm telling you guys, jump on this if you guys can find these at Costco. I was golden as Corona's on the coastline These days, I don't know what's worthy of a cosign Ain't a 40 We did it. Mission accomplished. 10 minutes on, 90 second walk, twice. It, I made it to like 8 minutes pretty quick. I was really, really surprised. 2 minutes was, you know, of course, new to me. But I got it done. Feels good. So good cardio, plus good freaking free tan. I already tan, but it's like it when you're running outside, when you're outdoors, it gets you. It tans you in a different way because the sun is coming from you know up high, so it gets your shoulders and traps and everything. Alright, guys, breaking my fast with this little breakfast. I call meals pancakes, six egg whites, one whole egg, and a serving of fat-free cheese. This is gonna be pre-workout. Rice cakes. I'm gonna have five of these pre-workout. Just over 50 grams of carbs. And keep the new outfit. Ape sent me all their new, the whole summer line. Uh, cutoffs, joggers, the striped joggers, regular uh, volume three joggers, uh, shirts. Yeah, these, this is probably the best launch of apparel that they've done. The fit, the, the the quality, everything, the designs are on point. Usually I like my shirts a little longer, and sometimes the ape ones tend to be a little short on me, or my preference, and these are nice and nice and long. Not too long, but long enough. And the joggers are on point. These are so comfy. I squatted in the, the blue ones the other day, and they're good. You can squat them. Uh, it has pockets, zipper pockets on each side, and then rear, just unzippered pocket, which I like. Cause I mean, you really don't need a zipper back here. When your wallet's in there, it's kind of vertical, you know, you're good. This right here, brown cutoff, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. And then it has, let's see if you can see this. It's, it's panel. All the shirts, you cannot see it. You'll, you'll see it later. They're paneled in the back, which adds like a little bit. It, it's a nice little addition for detail. Looks nice. Oh. Sorry, right, girl. I'll write you tomorrow. Current setup, guys. Lockdown Co. Funnel right here. Little baby water bottle that my little brother Dill hooked me up with because I forgot my shaker. I'm just gonna do two scoops of the Ghost Pump Lemon Lime because I just had a monster not too long ago. I don't need the caffeine. I just want the pump. Got my boy Roger coming. We're gonna crush this push workout. I'm, I'm like excited. It's always a good workout with, with Roger. Oh, sorry if that was a little shaky, guys. You guys are in between my quads. No thigh gap. If you guys want one of these funnels, which they're they they come in handy when you're traveling, when you want to put your pre-workout in there or your protein, they're pretty big. They're selling for two for ten on on lockdownco.com. Check them out. Let's see how good this shakes up. Perfect. I vlog with that 85. This is not the 85. Oh, that's not. No, this is the 18. All right, guys, we're starting with bench press. Look at Roger looking all lean. Look at him there. 
We're gonna go for 10 to 12 reps on the bench press. Taking it easy on the bench press because we haven't really been focused on it too much. Stringer. Uh. 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 Oh, uh. Come on. Super juicy compound set. All right, finish off with triceps compound set. I gotta finish in like 10, 15 minutes because uh, my boy Kurt's coming to work work on me. Uh, Probably gonna have him work on my QLs as usual. Maybe my shoulder, my left shoulder, because uh, that's been bothering me a little bit. But compound set, we're gonna do uh, rope tricep extension to cable kickbacks. That's pretty much our staple freaking compound. Any specific movement bother the shoulder? Press. 
overhead pressing. Overhead, how's that compared to the incline press? I don't feel an incline. Feel great, Kurt worked his magic as usual. Um, I told him about my, my my shoulder discomfort, pain in my on my, my left side. He's gonna show me uh, a shoulder movement to get help those external rotators get fired up and improve the strength. Basically. Cool. So you start by attaching a band to a rack, just like that. You could also just do it with cables too. Start off right here. Get a pull in, external rotation, and then press up, back down, and then same exact thing. Repeat. About 10 to 15 times for your external rotators. Great way to strengthen them and get them fiery. Oh yeah. Right, that posterior cup fire and right there. I'm definitely gonna throw that into my 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 warm-ups when I'm training upper body. I got a package from Charlie. I think I know what it is. Hell yeah. And he sent me the black ones, the darker ones. It's the ones I wanted. This is Charlie's new company, Anaka, doing knee sleeves. Thanks, Charlie. What size did he send me? Larges. I think these are good. The, when he came to visit, he had some knee sleeves, but they were too small. He, he didn't think they would fit my quads. Probably get the chill. Got a meal here, my, my regular meal. I got the uh, the two 96.4 ground beef burgers, and I got nine ounces of cut up white potato. They're baked. A lot of you guys always ask me, how, how do you how do I make the fries? So you just bake some, she cuts them, and then put some um, I think garlic salt on it, and that's it. Diet Crush. Finish off my my water, Crystal Light, and that's it, guys. Flix and chill out a little bit. Try to find something good. Usually it's hard for me and Sonny to find something that is something that we haven't watched. We watched everything. I actually tried watching Luke Cage the past couple days and I can't follow it. I don't know. It's just not piquing my interest. I liked the first one. It was really good, but maybe it's just diet brain. I don't know. I'm going to finish off the night with a serving and a half of Icon Meals cereal milk. By Ghost. Check that out. Check that collab out. The taste is spot on. And then a Power Crunch bar chocolate. Or original. Original triple chocolate. So that's it for the vlog, guys. I want to say thank you for watching as usual. If you have not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you turn on the notifications. Got more content to come. Also, I want I want to start doing just separate topic videos. Let me know what type of topics you guys want me to go over. I mean, uh, it could be nutrition training, um, supplements, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.